the elephant in the room is the mining industry. And the mining industry currently, as I said at the National Press Club, is the upper house of Australian parliaments. No one seems to be prepared to do anything without getting the sanction and approval of the mining industry. Today is a show of strength. There's one person living in the town, and look how many people have showed up. They've come from far and wide to help make a statement. The young people that we honoured today, that gave their lives, gave their lives so as we can farm this beautiful agricultural land, not to see it dug up for 20 years of wealth. And um, that's what today is all about. I know it's Anzac Day, we shouldn't get political, but I am a bit bloody political today, and that's how it is. This mob have come in and abolished, demolished, vandalised, depopulated the area where I was born and went to school, and are taking all the money and paying not one cent in royalties to the government. Hi Dad, you sure have been gone a long time now. I'm now grandmother of two little girls and you would have loved them. You used to say that you fought for our land and our freedom, but none of your children were born when the war ended. We are still fighting for our land and our rights. This time we are inviting foreign interests into our country and selling them our land and our resources. Do we fight and not surrender like the wild colonial boy? Maybe it'll be like the suffragettes and our daughters' daughters will adore us. I will put a wreath on the RSL Memorial at Ackland again this year on Anzac Day in the park, lest we forget. <laughs>